How's everyone doing? All right, we have my voice. Oops. Turn down. All right, let's make sure now we have audio voice. I mean, uh, game audio. So far, so good. I'll be able to tell now. All right. We good. Uh, yeah, sorry for that. Uh, this is a new setup. Uh, just moved into a new place. This is uh, this is my new office. Uh, it feels a little bit like a set right now because the only thing that's put where it should be is what's behind me. Um, oh shit, I don't want to do that yet. Um, okay, so today we are playing um, Sean Alexander Allen's Treachery and Beatdown City. Uh, I've been really wanting to play some games that dealt with uh, social unrest and um, I mean protests and riots and all of that kind of thing it's it's a little bit hard to find maybe um, good ones uh, I've got some I've got some titles picked out that are definitely some problematic um, representations and sort of not really even representations like m mechanically <sighs> They're just not good. They're not great, right? But I think still looking at them, thinking about what's not so great about them might be really, really interesting. I like Treachery and Beatdown City. Uh, I haven't played it yet. I've, I've read about it, uh, and I'm excited to play it in this sort of capacity. Um, for one thing, it's uh, the, the, I mean, the main guy behind it, um, Alan, Sean Alexander Allen, uh, is a black man uh, from New York City. So, you know, this is coming from... Um, you know, I think a place of um, in, insightful sort of experience uh, with these kind of things. Uh, he describes this game as a dark comedy. Uh, and you'll see in the little icon here that I'm pointing with my mouse that you can't see, but um, the protagonist, the characters are, are, are people of color uh, are from marginalized communities, and they are, um, you know, taken to the streets and beaten down some treachery. Okay, let's get into it. Um, Treachery and Beatdown City. You've been listening to the soundtrack if you tuned in early. Unless you're on uh, YouTube later, and then you're not because I don't put that on YouTube. Winners don't mash buttons. <laughs> yeah. They might do drugs, but they don't mash buttons. Oh, shit. I started mashing my button. <laughs> Orama kidnapped. Does anyone say from Ninja Dragon Terror? We interrupt your daily fix of soda propaganda to bring you... I don't know, do I touch it? Do I hit A? Yes, okay. The latest in the kidnapping of President Orama. Mayor Mike Moneybags called a quick press conference earlier to explain his controversial decision to suspend the East Fulton PD during this historic investigation. Here's what he had to say. Uh, Mike Moneybags, for our Spanish-speaking East Fultonites, Los, e Los East Fulton Titos. <laughs> Hola, because of no dinero from the governmento, la policia suspendio. No, this boy, no. Uh, Lisa, arg. Why can't that idiot learn to speak Spanish? Uh, wait, I think he might have said the police have been suspended, but uh, I better call my dad. But no cell phones. I'll call him when I get out of here. Okay. Um. So what's really interesting about this game? Some from a from a huh from a um, like game design standpoint is that this game is a, a side-scrolling beat 'em up, but it has elements of um, RPGs. 
Like money bags makes me so mad. I need to let off some steam, some quick boxing practice should do. Alright. me of um, like Mario games too a little bit just the world map ugly John hey you speak English yeah the mirror in the men's room is so dirty that I could barely admire my gorgeous mug in it and and I thought you should know so you can get your spray bottle and go clean it up how do I El mirror is s dirty okay um, <laughs> I don't work here, but I'll gladly mop the floor with you. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit awkward reading some of the, uh, the jokey racist stuff. Hey, come on, I'll let you hit me first. Your funeral. Think of Ugly John like a walking, punching pack. You must get close to Ugly John in order to attack him. Okay, yeah. I can't attack unless I'm close, which is sort of weird. To start building combos on Ugly John's face versus... Yeah. Okay, cool. Interesting. This is the action menu. Here you will build custom combos. Okay. To add a strike action to your combo, you will need at least one bar of action meter. I've got three. And the right amounts of fight points. Okay, and that's what I was getting from the soda cans, I think. Um, okay, let's see. Your FP and action meter are in the status bar on the top left. You have enough FP and action meter to use three boxing jabs. Alright. Where's my... Okay, there's my FP. Every good combo needs a uh, mix of different strikes. I mean, I want to use a chin shot, but it tells me to use that. Okay. To attack Ugly John with your strike combo, press the top button, X. Ha, that strike combo didn't even hurt, but now I gotta hit you back. Brace for attacks. Okay, in interesting. Each time the enemy attacks, the defense menu pops up. The brace defense option uses zero FP to take the hit head on. The downsides if you take attacks at full damage. I'm gonna hit brace because see if you pick block you'd have a 50-50 chance of losing by not blocking I've got a 66 and two-thirds chance of winning <laughs> Lisa stopped to do ugly John's math after a moment she became enraged this is idiocy Lisa recalled her uppercut strike action the uppercut requires 36 FP uh, you will gain more FP as your action meter refills. You will also automatically gain FP over time. Wait to attack until you have at least 36 FP. Okay. So I'll just I'll just hang back over here. You have enough FP to use your uppercut. All right. Oh, shit. I want to brace. Okay. Combo mode is active when you see the C above your head. Uh, increases the accuracy of your next strike. The upper cup is a strong, low a uh, accuracy attack. Combo mode will increase the accuracy of the. Oh my god! Now you're going to use upper cup to end your combo. Okay, so got him. Glass Joe, that motherfucker. Hey, Sness, how's it going? Yeah, absolutely. It mixes RPG elements in, in the in the side-scrolling fantasy or beat 'em up rather. This means they'll have to build up their attack again. Okay, when an enemy's on the ground, it's a great time to back up and let your FP and action meter refill. Okay, so so after several rounds, I'm not just not going to do down like in a normal brawler. Uh, when close to Ugly John, press that. Let's let that. 
Ah. Oh, I can grip him. Let's recall, uh, at least I recall their grapple abilities. Use grapples when strikes aren't just cutting it. Just aren't cutting it. Um, okay. Oh, he's bleeding. That's bad news for that dude. Clinch, pu uh, clinch punch inflicted the, bla uh, the bleed status effect. Oh my god, I can't read today. Bleed will cause extra damage to Ugly John after he attacks. You can find out which actions cause which status effects by reading the descriptions on the action menu. I'm not going to do that. Okay, I think I'm going to... I think... Okay, I'm going to go use block. Failed one, hit one. Uh-oh. Oh, that dude looks just like uh, a guy from Double Dragon 2. Oh, there you are, you need to get this guy out of here. He was shedding offensive things and started a fight, and... Excuse me, I'm talking to this gentleman. You will have to wait your turn. Sorry about that. Ugly John, is it? It's pronounced Uli. <laughs> the G is silent like Slanya. Okay. When doing our background check for your gym membership, we pulled your East Fulton police records and well, we can't give someone with your streak of public urination a membership. I hope you understand. Ule John. I didn't know I want a membership in the first place. I needed a place to drain the snake, because if I'm caught in the streets again, they'll make me do weeks of community service. Why didn't you just ask to use the bathroom? I didn't want to owe you a favor. So you thought it was better to waste my time. Shellfish John, yes? Also, your mirrors are filthy. Your employee here refused. I don't work here. I really am enjoying the the um, like Ninja Gaiden esque um, story. There's a siren going by. I'm sure you can hear that. Sorry to have inconvenience or uh, something, something, something. Satisfaction survey. I don't want to do surveys, but can I have my ID back? I have a big day of shouting outside of bars planned. <laughs> this guy sucks. Wait a minute. Since when can gyms pull EFPD files for membership el eligibility? Don't, uh, me. Just as I thought, this file has way too much info on Ugly John. The amount of data collected shouldn't be legal. It details his health, where he hangs out, attacks, and other, other notable features. Forehead looks like a pair of... smirk. <laughs> It does look like a pair of them. Uh, does it really say that? Yep. I'm very sensitive about my looks. Now you know how it feels. Clueless, John. I didn't insult your looks. I just assumed you didn't speak English and that you were cleaning crew because... Yeah, I got nothing. Don't worry. I'll knock some sense into you. Alright. Let's beat this dude up. Oh, fuck. I don't... String attacks... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can get some nerd. Um Yeah. Yeah, you like that, don't you? You idiot. Oh, shit. Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Let's block. <laughs> I blocked him to death. Okay. Okay, so that was sort of... I mean, sort of the first encounter. It was more like a, a little long tutorial, but, you know. Cool. We got the we got the hang of this. So um, I'm gonna post this in the message again. I don't. I posted it earlier, but I don't know if anyone saw. Um, that is a link to Sean Alexander Allen's talk. Put your Glock away. I've got a stronger weapon for you. Um, and in that game, in that talk, he's uh, talking about this game in the way that he he thinks of violence as cathartic. Um, you know. Basically, that violence and violence in video games has a place, but it, it requires the designer and maybe even the player. I, you know, I don't I don't know who has more responsibility. Maybe the designer. Um, 
to be aware and um, you know cognizant of of what they're using violence for and you know who the enemies are. Use quick strikes to get some snacks by pressing blah blah. Hey, wait, Yang says. Yang is attacking. Yang insists that you turn around. You uh, you owe us for the uh, never mind. Oh, okay. Okay. I won. Bert. Hi, Dad. Lisa, finally. I've been calling you nonstop. Oh, maybe Lisa's black. I thought she was Hispanic. Actually, yeah, she is Hispanic. Um, I wanted to call you back, but the gym has a big sign. No cell phones. That's a good, a good rule to have. I hate it when people are jabbering away on their cell phones in the gym. Did cell phones exist the last time you went to the gym? Never mind my gym attendance. That is confidential. So is that on your police file, then? What? It seems like the EFPD collects a lot of info. When I was leaving the gym, some mutant guy started harassing me, so I had to beat some sense into him. Lisa. Uh, yeah, yeah, you don't like me fighting, but don't interrupt. So midway through our fight, a roided-out gym employee showed up, but instead of helping me or even acknowledging the fight, he focused on helping on the mutant guy with his new membership, which couldn't happen because mutant guy pees everywhere. And that's when I found out that my gym had access to EFPD files. Why would my gym have access to that? Um, ouch. We, uh, we can talk about that later. Right now, I have a crisis on my hands. Blake Orama was kidnapped by some ninja terrorist group, and that Cabrone uh, may... Oh shit, I missed it. I cut the end of his explanation in broken Spanish. You'd think a billionaire could afford some Spanish lessons. It's... <laughs> my, Mike Moneybags is clear um, who they mean. His speeches in broken Spanish are at least predictable. Probably shutting down the police just doesn't make any sense. Makes a little bit of sense. Something's been... Uh, uh, this was made in... Uh, shoot, I think 20... I think it maybe was released in 2018. 2017, maybe? It's a few years old. I need to come down to the City Hall with Brad and Bruce. You three are the only people I can trust. I just called Brad. He should be leaving his job soon. Bruce is at the cafe near you, doing whatever it is he does. Call me when you've met up with them so I know you're on your way. And one more thing. Yeah? No one can know that you're helping me with this. Are we gonna fight the mayor? Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Oh, I hope we. I hope it comes. To, I hope it does. <laughs> yes, I want to fight fucking Bloomberg on the streets of video game NYC. Okay, game saved. Health restored. CT Punk is a sneaky type, higher strike evade than other enemy types. Sneaky types are also less likely to counter grapples, so if you mind, if you find your strikes missing, use grapples. Ah shit. Um. Don't run for me, dude. Oh damn, it was too far away from me. That's stupid. Well, that was bad. I did not mean to turn around like that. I don't know if it did anything. Um. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Blind reduces strike uh, accuracy and makes strikes miss more. running for me is balls. Suck it, nerd. Oh 
Oh shit, what? Alright, he's got two hit points left. I've got this. I think I can just jab him. Yeah, get some, nerd. Tray jab. Strike combo action. Strike combo actions allow you to use multiple strikes as one single actions. These will allow you to build longer combos when combined with other strike actions. Performing longer combos will earn more FP. Cool. Okay. Lots of text in this game. I did not expect that. Hey, I'm one of the Guardians of the Hood. We help with tips and news on the mean streets of East Fulton. Here's your first tip. Might not look like it, but next to that dumpster uh, is a helpful item. I swear. Three chickens... Yeah, yeah, I can figure it out. Uh-oh. White lady. Um... So, I mean, this game is pretty deep and pretty fun uh, to play, but I'm really sort of interested in the way that it um, works on... Oh, sorry. Heather's a support type. Um, buff their teammates. Yep. All right. Heather B! Alright, so it looks like items will take a little bit of, uh, nothing. It looks like we didn't take anything. Right in the nose! Um, shit, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, um, I'm interested in the ways that, you know, this game could be thought of as, um, tactical media. Um, the way that Rita, Rita Rayleigh defines it in her book, Tactical Media. Um, you know, in, in that book, she talks a lot about media as, as a way to engage um, a member of, you know, a community um, with uh, ideas outside of their sort of normal worldview, uh, and that sort of the goal of um, tactical media is, is the next five minutes you know not it's not about changing someone's complete life but making them sort of drawing them out of their their worldview for at least something like five minutes um, and I think you know I, I think I think games do that brilliantly um, that you're you're literally being put into another world for however long you play and you know you're probably thinking about it a little bit after you leave um, Oh yeah, back back attacks are crit. Um, so I mean, you know, there's games like this. There's games like you know, serious games. Um, one in particular that that this reminds me of a little bit is um, oh shit, I thought I died for a second. I looked down. I need to take this off my ear a little bit just so I can hear myself talk. It's a little bit weird. Um, leg bruiser. Okay. Can inflict slow enemies. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, that'll be helpful for those um, wiry dudes. Right. Okay. So this this sort of vaguely brings to mind um, a game called Equality Street that was made by a group of undergrads at, um, at I think UNC, UC Santa Barbara. I think. Um, in a class, um, uh, I'm sorry, it was Amanda Phillips. I'm, I, I'm still drinking my coffee. Uh, a, a class by Amanda Phillips at UC Santa Barbara. Um, and it, that game was essentially a um, Frogger clone. Uh, the tasks, um, four different player characters crossing a street, sort of like Fro Frogger, right? The catch is, is that each of the different characters represent a different group of people. Um, there's a white man, a white woman, uh, a, a woman of color, and a man of color. And the sort of rhetorical um, procedural rhetoric of the game is that each of those characters have, have more enemies and it becomes increasingly difficult to cross the street, to 
depending on which character you are. You know, the the, 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 the white man really just has to worry about cars running him over, but, um, you know, the black woman, or the, the woman of color, has to deal with not only regular cars, but also cops trying to, you know, uh, get her for jaywalking and, um, and um, sort of civilian male predators that are roaming around trying to trying to you know get her so you know the, the the procedural rhetoric there is that it is harder it's about white privilege right the 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 white man doesn't have to deal with those things i'm really sort of you know wanting to think about this game in the same sort of um you know the same sort of strain of games uh, that Equality Street comes out of. I heard you messed up Ugly John before. How did I hear? Word spreads fast in East Fulton. Um, okay. You should use an item before fighting John. Hey, thanks for letting me know, dude. I got my attacks here. I got my options. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat some chicken. Oh, man, I am hurt. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that... I think I'll be okay. All right. This fucking Joker again with the butt head. Oh, and the joke's on you, because when we fought earlier, you caught me off guard, so I was only at 75% of my true power. You're the one that started yelling at me. I shot a lot of people, and they usually ignore me. That's fair. I don't expect them to fight me over it. But it doesn't matter, because I've had some time to rest, and now I'm at my full 100, which means I'm, when compared to most men, is worth 125%. Added my friend here, and we're over 200%. Oh, it's CT Punk. Uh, yeah. We're gonna mess you up. Raising the stakes. I like my odds. Uh, I mean, I mean, you know. Dragon, Dragon Ball Z vibes, yeah, for sure, man. Especially, like, you know. The, the the percentage meter of your power. Brawlers have no specific weakness, so you should focus on strike combos. Okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. Idiot. Oh shit. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. Come here. Fuck. Let's brace. I think there's gonna be chicken in that newsstand. Why do I keep doing that? I need to... I need to... Combo his ass. Alright, I've only got like two of these. Oh, tray jams? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna have enough to do both of these. Damn. Let's try a leg bruiser. I think I'm gonna try that with the other dude. Um, yeah, let's, let's knock his ass down. And then maybe I can work on this. Yo! I thought you had a buddy with you, dude. What happened to that guy? Okay, I've got three. Um, just chin shot. Okay. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, you like that, idiot. 57 hit points left. Um, and I mean, you know, like, I'm, I keep going back to that, um, that talk by Alan that I linked, um, and in it, he's really sort of talking about these kind of games being made as catharsis, um, you know, for people of color, really, you know, um, he talks a lot in the beginning of, um, the talk about, Nonviolence uh, and sort of the difference between MLK and um, and Malcolm X, and particularly sort of the way that um, media, and particularly with Malcolm X, he shows a clip of him on a talk show. The way that you know, even when Malcolm X is saying, "No, I'm not. I'm not saying that I'm calling for black people to go out and indiscriminately attack white people," but you know, there's really only one answer to uh, a system that is violent towards you, and that's violence, so protect yourself, basically. Um, but that's still sort of, you know, through the line of questioning and sort of the way that the questioner, the interviewer, sort of just keeps 
keeps attaching to particular things he says and 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 crafting questions that sort of uh, are leading a little bit you know like the end result is basically like well why are you so violent yeah 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 but but why violence you know and it's like well i've already told you why violence and no it's not all the time sort of ran it there i can't remember what i was talking about um I see this game, this, uh, like, uh, clearly I see it because he told me that, but, you know, I can definitely see where he's coming from where, um, you know, no one's saying violence is the answer here, and, and these people that I'm attacking are attacking me, for one thing. Um, this dude is just a total racist, s sexist dickhole. Um, and, you know, like, fuck, man. He needs a good punch in the fucking face. Who wouldn't want to do that? Particularly if you're one of the fucking groups that he's targeting. I bet that feels real fucking good. Even as sort of like just um, a method of play, you know? Like, just sort of... Damn it, I thought I could get him. I don't have to block, man. I'm running low on... Okay. I don't think I'm close enough to grapple him. Maybe I am. But instead, I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Yeah, I was too far away to fucking grapple. Fuck. Oh, this is bad. I might die here. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. God damn it. Oh, I'm gonna die. It's 120. God damn. Alright. Um, you know what? Fuck that noise. Oh, I don't even have to do all that. Fuck. Let's eat some chicken. I don't know exactly how many I need to do the things that I want, but maybe that's enough. Okay, can I grapple? I feel like I'm close enough to grapple now, right? Cool. Ugh. I wish I could back away while still looking at him. Okay. I'm just gonna... Garbage day! I want to do this. Alright. High accuracy here. Come on. Let's do it. Damn. Missed one out of two. Come here, idiot. Alright, this should put him out. Yeah. Eat it. Dickweed. Okay. Munching on chicken in the middle of a brawl, so nonchalant. Yeah. This sounds like a lyric. Farouk! Farouk's damn halal. That's awesome. Welcome to Farouk's damn halal cart. Uh, we can heal up at any point in one of my cards, which are conveniently parked all over East Fulton, just waiting for you to say hello. Now, who wants some hot sauce? Hell yeah. Street fight, street food. Um, can I go in here? Okay, yeah, that guy looks like you got a FP Cola small times three. Okay. Oh, fuck, is that a cop? That's Gloria Rodriguez. I heard she kicks really hard. Don't be afraid to use items when fighting her. Okay. Freeze, Lisa Santiago. You're coming with me. Who are you? I'm Gloria Rodriguez, your worst nightmare. You don't look like my Kim final. Wait, Rodriguez, why do I know that name? Because I'm famous, duh. Don't you watch the news? A cop in the news? That can't be good. It wasn't. The news kept going on and on about how I allegedly, viciously attacked some peaceful protesters. Oh, fuck. It, it is relevant. And did you? Yes, those hipsters deserved it. 
They were being disrespectful. And you know the rule. Disrespect a cop and get five kicks to the head. Oh man. Is it four? Three? None. The answer is none. You're never supposed to attack protesters. That's what the review board said. But during the investigation, I got this job offer for money bag security and the hearings. Money bag security, I see. MBS. And the hearings just magically ended. So the mayor got your charge thrown out. Yup. Now I can kick anyone I want. Like you. Try me. Okay, so see, I mean, this is gonna feel f fucking great, you know? Like, um, violence in video games doesn't always feel good. This is gonna feel good. Gloria is a brawler type. She's different than other brawlers in that she can counter your strikes. You can work to avoid her counters by building combos with high a, uh, accuracy jabs. Uh, add in your tray co uh, jabs combo to do maximum damage. Alright, dude. Alright, alright, alright. Which one knocks them out? I can't remember. Oh, uh, is it the uppercut? Oh, I need so many. I need so many. I'm just gonna do this. Alright, good start. Um, let's block. Okay, 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 okay. I don't, I don't know what the hand means. I'm not slow. Maybe, oh shit, maybe I'm like numb, I can't attack. Oh fuck. Suck it, nerd. That's probably too far away. Fuck, I knew, I knew that would happen. Let's block. Okay. Um... We're gonna hurt you this time. Yo. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I really like the action bar. Like that really sort of even even without sort of the the rest of the um, RPG trappings, I really think that action bar brings something to the fighting genre. The, the brawl genre um, because I mean normally it is just a bush and button mash sort of um, oh hey my cat's here if it's um, normally it's just sort of a button mash palooza all right let's do that again oh I can't do my oh because I only have two things well okay let's just do that then and maybe uh yeah leg bruiser Sit down. Oh fuck. <laughs> I, block Oof. I blocked it, but it still knocked me down. Um, you know, I can't lie that I'm that I'm sort of missing the jump uh, and kick. Maybe that happens in a different character. You know, maybe um, I know. I know. One of the other characters is a Mexican um, uh, wrestler, and I think the other one is maybe more of like a martial artist. There's Brad. Time to meet up with him. Brad. I think Brad is the uh, Mexican wrestler. Oops. Now saving. Okay. Oh, did I turn into I turned into Brad? Okay, interesting. Hey, you got like twenty bucks? Twenty dollars? I don't know why he just looks big or a dollar, whatever. Uh, what for? I don't know. Life? It's expensive living in the city, man. Drinks two hundred dollars. Crystals ten. Haircuts a thousand. Leather jackets five thousand. I need help, man. My trust fund is dying. Perhaps you should stop buying so many expensive things. I need my crystals! I mean the other things, the jackets, the haircuts. Or I could take your money and be done with it. Normally I'd adv advise against that, but I need to warm up. Come get it. Okay. Um. Brad's fighting style focuses on grapples. Uh, has less strikes and more grapples.
Grapple. Knuckle Arrow. Okay, huh? Yeah, bitch. Oh, god damn it, I keep turning around. Come here, idiot. Oh, a heal punt. Oh, 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 oh. What if... Okay. So does fill up. Body slam. Fuck yeah. Oh, idiot. Oh, that's, that's it, you idiot. Come here. I'm gonna body slam you so hard. God damn it. Ugh. Think you're so hot because you can walk fast with your hands in your pocket like a little butthole. That was awesome. So um, that reminds me, one of the one of the character sprites in this game is modeled to look like the officer. Speaking of UC systems, that UC Davis, I think it was, that uh, famously or infamously uh, pepper sprayed all of those protesters. Um. So I mean, yeah, like I hope we get there because I want to. I want to punch a cartoon version of that dude and fucking body slam him. The Dusty Elbow. Fuck yeah. The Dusty Elbow can inflict stun, causing enemies to lose their turn. Try using it in the combo. Um, what was that guy's problem? I think the beeswax from the mohawk has been seeping into his skull. That would explain it. Well, anyway, did my dad tell you anything about his plan? I'm still not sure why he needs us specifically. He was brief on the phone, but I trust him. The only thing is, the only thing I know is Orama would not have been kidnapped if Brad the Bull Killer Steel had been there. Yeah, all right, no, Brad the Bull Killer Steel. Um, so like. All right. I don't. I don't know if there's any. Okay. 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 I don't know if there's. I don't know if you can switch characters. Enemy types. Gene is a grappler type. being on my adversaries. And I love Dr. King, but violence might be necessary. Because when you live on MLK, he thinks it's very scary. Um, sorry. I've been I've been listening to a lot of Run the Jewels 4 uh, this last week. And I just, uh, for some reason, I thought of that lyric from an earlier song. the next line. When you live on MLK, things get very scary. Uh, you have to pull an AK, send one to the cemetery, I think is how that ends. I don't know. Okay, uh, oh, I can't counter. Wait, no, I can't counter. They probably explained to me why I couldn't do that. Alright, dude. Enough of you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this dude's just not gonna grapple me, huh? Let me grapple him. Bitch. Ah, alright, that worked. Okay. Gym, one free month. A lot of gyms. D bag vinyl. This open world music reminds me of the first Ninja Turtles game um, for the NES. Sort of the overworld too, come to think of it.
All right, Ugly John and Heather B. I guess Ugly John. Grapple counter rate. My God, this is so deep. I'm still in a fucking like tutorial. Try lowering their HP. Okay. I can't lie. I think, uh, let's try this, let's try this dusty elbow. Oh, we can't. Yeah. Alright. Um. Ooh, shit, my hit, my hit points. John, it's just me and you now. <sighs> Not so tough without your little healer, are you? Damn. Got a counter? Fuck. What do I can't counter? Maybe I just can't counter too often in a row. Alright. Cool. Cool. Alright. Looks like I'm about to run a little bit of a gauntlet. Gene, bruh, I got the CD you gotta hear. Five dollar donation. I think, look, I'm not out here robbing people who deal with drugs. I'm also not a terrorist kidnapping presidents. I'm just out here spreading my raps. You feel me? Do you find this more effective than Band Cloud? Man, ain't nobody making money on streaming services. That's why I bring my music straight to the streets, because I'm real like that. Ironically, bringing my music to the streets keeps me off the streets. That's commendable. I can give the CD away to one of my kids. Five dollars? Yeah. This is embarrassing. I just realized I'm wearing my wrestling tights, which, as you can see, don't have any pockets. I'm sorry. I can't buy your CD today, but if you can't be serious, come by next time I'm at work. How do I get in contact with you? Or we're gonna have a problem. I guess we have a problem then. Okay. So, I mean, this is kind of weird. Um, this seems like, this seems like a, a sort of a weird, uh, encounter to have, right? Like, the dude is there, and then he's just like, give me my money. Yeah, I feel like, goddamn, I feel like they just told me that. Got it in. Uh, yeah, you can take it, you can take it right off the top. Deal bag. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, still too high. That's alright, still too high. I'm wondering if when you get to like fighting police, if they have guns and ranged weapons, that's gonna suck. does have, like, I feel like it's relatively simple, but, you know, like, clearly there's 
a lot of things to do and some strategies to to work out. Three basic strikes, uppercut. Um, let's see. I definitely. I, de I want to hit. I want to grapple him. See if I can body slam him. Yeah. Suck it, dude. God. One more of those and you're done. I'll stay here. Damn, I, I thought I had it. That didn't make me happy. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's grapple with Body Slam's ass. I win! Bruce is over there, let's catch up to him. Okay, so we're finally gonna get the third uh the third player here. And now I'm and now I'm Bruce. Is that ugly John again? Why do I not really want to mess with him? But I have no choice. So I think, you know, I think sort of the linear nature of the level designs, uh Bruce's fighting self focuses on strikes to use Bruce's unique strikes to build combos and defeat enemies before they get the upper hand. Remember, use low FP attacks to start your combos to gain bonus FP to use more powerful moves sooner. Okay, yeah, that's that's a good that's a good thing to remember. Oh fuck! We got a lot less health this time. No, I run away. Shit. <laughs> All right. I really feel like I shouldn't be using like I really shouldn't be using those jabs at all. Fuck. Except for to finish people. Hidden techniques. Using combos. Uh, actions with other strikes. Bruce can gain status effects to help him in a fight. Here's your first tip to activate Bruce's uh, accuracy up. Goddamn hidden technique. Use the wing strikes combo plus wing strike L and R. Okay. Can I do anything with that? No. Dan, uh, Mon, you're looking to make some bread, Mon. What'd you say to me? <laughs> Chill, Mon. I'm in need of the good stuff, Mon. I buy and sell stocks, not whatever it is you're thinking, but I'll beat that terrible accent out of you. I... well, I never. If there is not a white woman bad guy called Karen, I don't even know what this guy's thinking. Although, maybe this was before the Karen thing really started. Supports like Dan can counter strikes. Uh, combo actions like Bruce's wing strikes can't be countered past the first hit, making them valuable attacks to add to your combo to try and avoid getting countered. Prep Dan is cheering. So he's kind of a he's kind of a college bro dude. Wing strikes. Okay. Now let's hit a wing. Oh wait, was it? Well, we'll do both. How about that? Craig B. 
Ladies Gallery. Did that guy try to buy drugs for me just because I'm wearing my Jamaican colors? Yeah, he can't be very bright. Unlike your outfit, which is so bright you can see it from space. You want to talk, Pink Wonder? You look like you fell in a vat of liquid stomach medication. <laughs> Pepto. Uh, that was pretty good. Thanks. Yours was good too. Anyway, did my dad tell you any details? Nope. He just shouted about how important it was that I came to City Hall. It doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, me and Brad have been given the same vague messaging. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Alright, so we're headed to City Hall. All you people up there in City Hall, you're fucking it up for the people that are in the streets. All moves take at least one action to cool down. Finishers like the high press kick have longer cooldowns, so you have to use other attacks. Okay, so that's what that's why it's blocked out. I wish I wish there were a little bit better way to sort of communicate to me what the cooldown is, but whatever. I don't want to learn anything else. This game's deep enough. Um, sneaky types. Yep, 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 okay. So I gotta get my accuracy up with these things. Fuck, I can't do that yet. Yeah, you like that, you fucking idiot. Blind. That's not good. Yes, yes. Attacks only count if they connect. Get some. Oh, another person. Ooh, a new, a new Ronda C. A new enemy type, or at least skin. High price kick. So I see some graffiti in the background, and that reminds me of um, something else I wanted to talk about with Sean um, Allen, uh, is a game that he created before this. Uh, let's go, let's just do that. Okay. Uh, it was called Corporate Vandal, uh, and it was a board game where players um, basically tried to, tried to claim sort of, you know, space, retail space, sort of, on, uh, like, real estate, on a uh, board, which was hung from a wall, uh, putting stickers, placing stickers over other stickers, ripping stickers off, and the idea was that it was sort of to highlight this, um, I don't know, um, discrepancy between street art, um, uh, from people, from civilians, and corporate street art that has been replacing it, you know, um, and the idea that, you know, the system, cops, um, like, uh, cities, I suppose, in general, um, spend a lot of time and effort to take down even commissioned pieces of art uh, that aren't 
sort of paid for by elite institutions. Um, but at the same time, corporations are co-opting a lot of those same strategies to, you know, plaster their shit everywhere. Uh, I thought it was really interesting. Uh, maybe we maybe we could place like a mock-up of it on uh, board meeting sometime. Okay. This might be our last one, because it's 11.30. Um, you'll be behooved this, or what? This man is bothering me. You hitting on my woman. I'm pretty sure your woman thought I was. Fam, we don't look anything alike. Oh, thought it was you, okay. You can say that again. A good thing, too. You got jokes, fam? You're the only joke here, fam. <laughs> okay. Um... This dude reminds me, the dude with the backwards hat reminds me of Flavor Flav. Which, uh, I can't say. I feel too bad about punching. This is Gene Z. I don't know if the other Gene had a name, had a, had a last name. She's support. Ah, no, don't cheer. I hate cheering. Oof. Don't do that again. Stop cheering. Give me that chicken leg. Alright, um... Can I get another one in? Yeah. Okay, she's down. Now it's just me and you, dude. Yeah, I see you running. I see you running. Hmm. That was weird. I guess I can't hit him while he's down. Mundane Existence is the name of that store. <laughs> I shop there. What's going on today? It's like everything's backwards. I've been mistaken for other black dudes before, but they don't usually fight me over it. Yeah, something's off for people acting out because Orama got kidnapped. I don't think half these people know who our president is. I think we're seeing a confluence of idiots and entitlement. Like when that pet sneaker fashion show was protested by vegan hip-hop heads who thought the sneakers were made of pets. <laughs> Not for them. Please shut it down, stole all the kicks, and sold them at auction, which coincidentally is how my dog got the new cloud cordons. <laughs> uh, what was the point of that story? This is nothing like that. I don't know, I just wanted to let you know my, my dog looks real cute in his sneakers. I've got pictures if you want to see them. Okay. Still going to City Hall. Okay. Um, well. Okay, so I can't switch heroes. Cool. I mean, I want to keep playing. Let's go a little bit longer. A secret chicken. Chicken. Is that from a gauntlet game? I can't remember. Oh, Emily. What has happened to you? Hey, watch out. Watch out, I'm walking here, you watch out. Can't you just get out of the way? Aren't you supposed to be in spin class or something? 
how did you know? Today just doesn't feel like a ghost cycle day. My class is so far away, and I heard the subways are shut down for some emergency. Hashtag inconvenient, am I right? I'm jealous because my friend Becky has ghost cycle classes in her building, but then again, she lives over the bridge. And who wants to deal with that? I guess I could... Take a cab. But that seems like much a uh, waste when I pay so much... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Who cares? This is my neighborhood, after all. I've been living here for one whole month. That's enough to be the real East full tonight, right? Okay, so so some gentrification going on. I guess I could go down to Rat Race Park, but it's a sketch, A. Eh? At least that's what the Gentrifier app tells me. Gentrifier. <laughs> You've burned 1,000 calories running your mouth. It's time to shut it. I like Lisa. Lisa's my favorite so far. Better lace up your teeth, cause you're running your mouth. Uh, they just run from side to side like mindless saps. You can use any attacks on them, most attacks will defeat runners very quickly. <laughs> Taking out a jogger. Okay, so I mean, I've been paying a little bit of uh, attention to the background, but there, there's clearly some comment on gentrification, and um, I mean, I don't think it is about gentrification, but sort of it addresses it because it is a an aspect of city life, particularly for you know traditionally marginalized groups, because um, you know economics. I've got 27. We're on to C again. We're on to C. You make me sick. Okay, so I can only change when I'm in. Which makes sense. Second. Fuck. It's two counters I missed. hits. Um, there, hit one finally. That last little blip, like it fills up really quickly and that last, that last bar takes for fucking ever. Um, okay, let's, uh, uh, Tree jabs. Overkill. Okay, so yeah, saved, health restored. Maybe this is a good place to stop. Um, I wish I knew how long this game was, but I don't. I don't think it's terribly short, so I don't think we're gonna get through it today. This has been Treachery in Beatdown City uh, by uh, New Challenger. It's the name uh, that Sean Alexander Allen goes by um, as a designer. Uh, check out his other stuff. Um, I think being black in America uh, is a really interesting art piece that he put up on Twitter years ago at this point, like I think in 2017. Um, but it is, um, you know, sort of a take on the classic Mega Man level selection stage. Uh, and I'll, if I remember, I'll try to retweet that uh, under the uh, Serious Play Twitter account. Thanks so much for joining us on the return of Coffee Break. We'll be back um, sometime soon to look at another game.
Thanks a lot. Bye.